Hello and welcome back to another Space Engineers Showcase video. In today's video, we're looking at a modded fighter. And this one is called the STS Wyvern, which is this lovely thing right here. So this is a very sleek ship featuring the Star Wars weapons mod, the armored ramps, defense shields, and high output reactors. Pressing F10 and finding the STS in the spawn menu, there it is. It is not 26,560 small blocks, it is 4,507. It's just being a little bit funny because of the projector block. Yes, it requires the decorative block number two, the Sparks of the Future, and the Wasteland DLC packs. And like I said, it uses four mods. It's got a lot of scripts going on with it. We give this a thumbs up, we'll have a quick look around the outside, then we'll go in the interior and play around with what it can do. If I just tell my character to bugger off over into the distance, there we go. We can now start right here. So at the very front, this is what we get. We've got a camera front and center to aim all of our lovely Star Wars mod weapons. We can see just above that a glass cockpit with a single control seat to fly this thing around with a lot of LCD screens telling you everything about the ship from your shields to your inventory and what's turned on and off. If you were to continue around the side on this ship, there's a load of the modded weapons. We've got some spotlights to light up the darkness. Then continuing around, we've got this lovely pinky reddish. So I like to say it's pinky. I think it's more slightly reddish than normal, but yes, we've got this going all the way around with a very sleek design. Coming into this part of right here, we can see one of our sparks of the future atmospheric thrusters. If we were to come right into here, we'll be able to see it quite clearly. There he is. And then moving down to here, we've got our traditional hydrogen thrusters to have us on our left and our right, with another Sparks of the Future atmospheric thruster sitting right there. For us to turn around and look at this side, we've got another atmospheric thruster and a bunch of spiky parts come over to another large hydrogen thruster and a few more atmospherics. If we continue around the side on this little thruster part, we've got even more hydrogen thrusters to help us on our left and our right, and we've got another turret sitting up there, which is part of the Star Wars weapons mod. Continuing around over to the very back here, in fact, before we go to the very back, take a look around here, we've got even more atmospheric thrusters, even more hydrogen thrusters, and then we've got another setup with a Sparks of the Future atmospheric thruster sitting right next to a battery. Continuing along to the very back here, we have got three large hydrogen thrusters and four atmospheric thrusters to push us along on the main body of the ship. The camera just below it, so we can reverse this thing up without bumping in and damaging any of our precious spikes. Coming up and above this ship, what we're going to see is not really that much. We'll be able to see the shield mod on the left and right hand side. On the right hand side, we can see part of the shield mods. And there is the other part of it, sitting on the opposite side. Zooming all the way out so you can get a better view and turning off my light. That is what we get. We've got a few more hydrogen thrusters at the very top of the ship. And we've got some nice pattern and detail going all the way down to the bottom. If I was to drop down and come underneath, pass our cockpit, pass all of our modded weapons, this is what we get. We can see even more hydrogen thrusters, even more atmospheric thrusters. We've got some large thrusters which are currently turned off. Because we do not need these in space, they're simply a waste of fuel, but you might need it while on the planet. Yes, if we come over to this part of right here, we've got a non-traditional landing gear setup. We do have two traditional landing gears at the back that you can see right there. But for the front, to keep it balanced, we are using the wheel suspension blocks from the Wasteland DLC pack. Yes, we'll just come over to here. There is our connector to recharge this thing up with fuel and ammunition. There is our other hydrogen thrusters which are turned off. And there are some more atmospheric thrusters with this part right here. So this dark greyish block which you might be able to make out if YouTube doesn't compress the hell out of this, Yes, this is our ramp to get in and out. There is no other way to get in and out unless you're lucky enough to pop yourself through the blocks through the magic of Clang. Yes, we've got a button right there that we can press to open and close this thing, which I'll just grab my character right now. I will press. I'll then fold all the way down and allow you to get in and out. So yes, that is it for the brief around the outside. We we'll just come around here so you can get a better view from a distance. There we go, it is a fantastic design. This is what has drawn me to this ship. This slightly off pink, we've got the stripes going along it, lots of different ridges and spikes. It's a very well done ship. Yes, speed my characters right here. We'll just come along and plop ourselves down. Oh, in fact, we won't do that because we don't have a gravity generator. We'll just come over to this flat part right here. 
So turning around, this is what we get. We've got another button on our left hand side, which we can press to close all of that up. We can see the conveyors galore going to all of our hydrogen thrusters and hydrogen tanks. They're sitting just above us. And we can see this lovely blue O2H2 generator in case we want to manually fill it up with ice. And it does come with a few bottles of hydrogen in case you need it. Putting myself off the ground so we get rid of the wonky walking. And look at my left and right hand side, we've got our small block large containers. And turning all the way around, this is what we get. So right on the left hand side, we've got a button for our projector. If I was to press it, we then get a projector for the entire ship. So if we ever took damage, we know exactly which blocks need to be repaired up. And it becomes very easy to repair up with the build and repair system to automatically seek out the damaged blocks and repair it up. Yes, what I did up here is remove one of the blocks. So you can see the projector is projecting the missing block. So just turning that off to save performance and looking around here, on our left, we've got these sneaky little hidey holes down here, which we can just drop all the way down and we'll get onto a nice flat surface. There we go. Not really supposed to be down here, but you can use it as a hidey hole in case somebody is trying to invade your ship and you need somewhere to cower while you're loading your gun. Yes, we can see our atmospheric thrusters. We can see the bottom of our hydrogen thrusters. Turning around here, not too much is going on, but we do have some glass blocks to see the rear hydrogen thrusters. Turning around over to this part right here, We've got a bunch of programmable blocks. So starting on the top left, coming into here and editing it, this is our automatic LCD screen script. The one right next to it is the Blarg's fancy flight, and that's quite a difficult sentence to say. And just below that, we have then got another automatic LCD screen script. Moving to the right hand side, the top one is going to be the Whips Auto Door and Airlock script. So we do have a small airlock towards the front to make sure the cockpit is good and auctionated. And just below that, coming into here, this is our shield HUD script for the shield mod. So there we go. If I was just to fly all the way back up here, into the main part, past some more cargo containers to store some stuff inside. They currently come with 28,000 ice, just in case you need it. I'm just walking towards the front here, we've got a survival kit on our left hand side to recharge ourselves on, and to respawn on, and a cryopod to, well, have a very quick recharge, or to shove a prisoner inside. Moving towards the front here on our left and right, we've got ourselves a reactor hidden behind some glass with an easy access point. The reactors come with 1.73k uranium already inside it, so you may want to get rid of that if you're just straight spawning it in, in survival mode. Yes, we can see the atmospheric thrusters, even more conveyors on the floor below. And this is the doorway that leads us to our cockpit. So just walking into here and just closing that up, a little intermittent airlock. Right inside here, not too much going on, just an air vent on the side there, and on the opposite. And now we can open up this, walk inside, but I'm not even sure why I'm closing the door, we've got the auto door and airlock script, so we'll let the script have its fun here. There we go, and this is our cockpit. So we're a small seat, control seat, sitting in front, a lovely glass view just in front, and not too much else going on. So just hopping into the seat, and looking to our left, we've got some LCD screens showing us our inventory, what is on and what is off, our battery power, and an air vent just below it. Looking to the right hand side, we then got our air vents and how they're doing, as well as another LCD screen telling us our components and stuff in our cargo containers and everything else important. Turning towards the front, we then got a few more fancier LCD screens. On our left hand side, we've got our fancy power and hydrogen usage, where we've got our lift, our gravity, our hydrogen stored, and our hydrogen time. And on the right hand side, we've got a fancy speedometer that just spin around as we start to move forwards. And right in front of us, this is our shield LCD screen script, and you'll see power of the shield and a few more bits and bobs that I don't quite understand because I don't really use the shield mod too often. Right below that, we can see our stop distance, our stop time, our ship mass our dampness and our power time, so we've got 44 days, so we can easily fly this ship without our HUD being turned on. Yes, as for the HUD itself, number one and number two is going to be to lock and unlock our landing gear and connector. Number three is going to be for our cruise control, so switching to the very front here, we can see that our large hydrogen thrusters at the front are currently turned on, and now we can switch them off so when we move forwards, we'll just cruise along at a constant pace. Turning that on will come to a complete stop. Moving down and underneath, we'll see that we have our hydrogen thrusters that are currently turned off. There is a mayday up there, but we shall go and visit in a moment. But yes, pressing number four will turn on the hydrogen thrusters below our ship, just in case these small ones and the atmospheric thrusters are not enough 
to keep you hovering on a planet. We'll switch them off because they're not needed in space. Number 5 is for our camera at the very front so we get a good view at all the fake asteroids due to the skybox I'm currently using. Coming out of there and pressing number 6, this is for our turrets on top to switch them on and off. So there we go. And number 7, which I have just fiddled around with, is to turn on and off our shield. So pressing number 7, we'll then see our lovely shield block come into play, like so, fits the ship perfectly. And pressing 7, we'll turn it off. When you spawn in the ship, it will not have the shield effect on it because it will be invisible. I just switched it on to make it more visually pleasing. Yes, number 8 is going to be for our antenna on and off. And switching off the shield and looking behind us, this is going to be a manual toggle for the door to open and close it as we please. You could even make the ship speak if you whacked up the speed of opening and closing it. Yes, coming to tab number 2, this is going to be for our atmospheric thrusters and our fuel and whatnot. So number 1 is going to be for our hydrogen tanks to stockpile on and off. Number 2 is for our atmospheric thrusters on and off. Number 3 is for our batteries to auto or recharge. Number 4 is for our reactor on and off. And number 5 is for our O2H2 generators on and off. Switching to tab number 3, this is the fun tab. Where once again we've got a camera view straight forwards. And all the other ones are going to be for our Star Wars weapons mods. So bring the free camera all the way around so we can get a better view at what is going on here. Like so. Our first weapon is for the flat cannon. So pressing that, we're simply going to shoot out a green flat cannon, which has a very noisy reload. We just anger ourselves once again and fire it once again. There we go. The next one is the concussion missile launchers. Uh, blah, blah. I'll say that again. The concussion missile launchers. Where we'll fire them. And there we go. They're like the standard missile launchers. They got a fancy sound to go along with them. We'll fire them once again. There we go. The third weapon is the rotary blaster cannons. Now these I absolutely adore. So these are going to be the Gatling gun blocks. Do we sort of see it right there? We'll just fire them. I mean, there's a lovely blue laser coming out. That's a glorious sound. So there we go. And the last weapon is the vulture cannon, which sits right above it. So switching to them and firing it, we get a red pew pew noise. And yes, that is a very Star Wars the sound effects. Just coming around to there, that's what the cannons look like while firing. And once again, the red lasers. So number six and number seven, I'm not too sure what they're supposed to do. It says on the Steam Workshop page is to control the left and the right hand rotary turret. Which are these two are right there. But they don't seem to be working. I've tried fiddling with them in the control menu, but they don't seem to be working too well. Neither do they respond to any kind of commands on the hotbar. So we'll just ignore them for the moment. Number eight is a blank spot, and number nine is our rear camera to reverse this thing up. So here we go, I've just given the Albatross to the Space Pirates. I have turned off the visuals for the shield back to its default settings. I have somehow fixed the turrets on the side so they now function correctly. What we're going to do is Try and see how well this goes by coming to tab number three. We are starting to take damage. Turrets, please do something. Now we're going to start shooting them with everything we've got. Now because of go with our blue lasers. Our shield is still at 100%. Or at least I hope it's still at 100%. I'm going to slowly start digging away at all of their turrets over there. So there's their turret gone there. There's that turret gone. And there is that. They seem to have stopped firing, which means the turrets have either done a fantastic job or the Albatross has simply given up. We'll switch over to the Vulture Cannon. And come underneath, there is the turrets firing. They simply shoot the blue beams of death. And aiming up that a little bit higher. And there we go. Wow, the turrets are just tearing through all of this. And there we go. Wow, these Star Wars weapon mods are pretty damn powerful, considering they're just tearing away all of the blocks here. To the point we are acting as a eraser for the middle of the ship. Yeah, switching to the concussions. There we go, we can fire them a few times. And then shooting to the other ones, which are the flat cannons. And then back to these. We have just utterly annihilated the Albatross. And there is not much left. Our shield is still at 100% power, but that is probably just because I am on the creative mode, so it's just pumping itself full of power. But there we go. We can see that turret on the side there having the time of its life shooting the remains of the ship. 
But yes, that is it for this ship. There will be a link to it in the description below if you do wish to download and play around with it yourself. I highly recommend you do. And I'll be back with another video some point soon. Bye bye.